Today's video is a continuation of the DIY SimRig series. I'm calling it Project Driftstick. This is a complete DIY e-brake built around a 20 kilogram load cell and a teensy microcontroller. Using a load cell allows for accurate representation of force input to data sent to the game, and the teensy allows for simple integration as many libraries exist to make the project seamless. Today's video wouldn't be possible without the longtime channel sponsor, PCBWay. They were a huge help on this project, but more on them later in the video. Starting off, we will look at the construction of the e-brake handle. It uses a combination of laser cut parts, 3D printed parts, and fasteners. The 3D printed parts form most of the moving parts as well as the attachment points for the load cell and load springs. The load cell is attached using four 4mm screws and it's sandwiched between two 3D printed brackets made of ASA. The main body is constructed of two plates of 3mm steel that have been laser cut for pre precision fitment. The handle is constructed of multiple layers of polycarbonate sandwiched between two pieces of 2mm 6061 aluminum, fastened together, and then topped with two 3D printed pieces to make the grip. The fasteners range from M3 hardware all the way up to M12 hardware. Assembly is straightforward, making two subsystems and then connecting them together, with subsystem 1 being the handle, and subsystem 2 being the body, connected with a 12mm bolt that the handle pivots on. This allows for easy changes to the handle length for modularity. Installation on my sim rig is also very straightforward, requiring very few fasteners and the use of quarter turn T nuts. We can see that it has 25 millimeters of movement at the load cell, and the movement at the handle can be changed with shorter or longer handles, also changing the force required to fully activate the e brake. While the sim rig was under the knife for surgery, I decided I wanted to add base shakers for a more immersive experience. I added four Dayton Audio TT25 16 ohms and a mini amp to drive them. I designed 3D printed brackets that attach to the frame under the seat and under the pedals, giving me two zones for separate audio channels. Installation for these used the same T-nuts locked into the extrusion as the rest of the build. Hiding them under the build gives a seamless look and allows for easy cable management. The cable management on the e-brake is quite simple as well, requiring one cable from the e-brake interface to the control board. Overall, I'm quite happy with the upgrades performed this time around on the build. The e-brake goes well with the G920 setup, and the board I designed has lots of 2.54mm connector attachment points for future button box builds or additional inputs. The use of laser cut steel to augment 3D printed parts for strength has been my favorite combination of mine lately. And I feel a sim rig is a perfect place to let those two interact. We'll now move on with the build montage. I wanted to take a moment to thank PCBWay for supplying the PCBs for this project with no charge to me. If you need prototype or end-use parts for your project, check out PCBWay.com. They offer a full line of custom services including PCB manufacturing, 3D printing, CNC machining, and more. All the one-off custom parts you've seen in this video can be made by PCBWay. Now, back to the model.
So that's the upgraded version of my sim rig. The e-brake was a bit hard to get full engagement on at first, but the code has implementation for a sensitivity setting to make quick adjustments. So after playing with that, I'm now happy with the force applied to achieve an expected response in-game, meaning I can now start practicing with a working e-brake. I have future plans for a button box build for the rig, using the other outputs on the board provided by PCBWay. Until then, I'm happy with the base shaker upgrade and the functionality of the e-brake. If there's a big interest in the e-brake files, I will release them. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next month's project. Thank you.